welcome to Daily Boost today. This is yours truly, Dr. Charles and Ethan. I am excited. We are going to be having an amazing time today. So get ready. Get ready for something good to happen to you. So I am glad that uh, we have quite a number of people already on here. We have Apostle um, per, uh, Percy Moba. God bless you. We have Shirijit, Donna, Arkirizi. Uh, we have Maria. We have Prince, Kathy, Tanya, Amaka. I'm so glad you all joined me today. So we are going to get started now. I have something amazing I want to share with you today. We've been talking about the simplicity of the gospel and what it means to announce the good news to people. And I made a statement yesterday. I said, don't just read scriptures. Don't just read scriptures. You've got to see the man behind the scriptures. It is very important we understand that. Don't just read Bible verses. We ought to see the one whom the book is talking about. And so I want to talk to you about something very personal. And the personal thing is hearing his voice. His voice makes all the difference in my life and in your life too, if you understand what I'm talking about. His voice does make a difference. His voice makes a difference. So that's what I want to talk about today. The voice of Jesus makes a difference. Do you know that you can actually go and hear his voice? You can hear his voice all the time. Do you know that God speaks to people today? He wants to talk to you just as I am speaking to you today. He wants to speak to you today. God speaks. Yes, he speaks today. I mean, you can hear his voice. There's one thing about reading scriptures and hearing the voice of God. I will be talking to you a little bit about that. His voice has been the difference in everything you've done in my life. His voice, hearing his voice, has been the difference in everything I've done in my life. So today, I want to share with you from a personal point of view so that you can understand the place of the voice of God in your life. Do you know God wants to speak to you right now? His voice, when it comes to you, it removes fear and doubt. It brings peace to you. And I tell you, that voice, it's sure, it's the voice of faith. It would impart faith to you. It will renew your hope and it will express love to you. So I want you to listen to me, invite some friends. I want you to share with other people because in a very short time, you will be experiencing something amazing. I, I, I know that we have a video that I wanted to show you uh, from Uganda. And this video is um, it's, it's a very interesting one about demons that had come to the meetings that came uh, uh, um, kind of basically harassing some people. And the demons, they, they, were, they were confessing who I was. And they were asking why. Why did I come to Uganda? So if we are ready, guys, I want us to play it and let the people watch it. I, want to, I haven't seen a video since, but I'm going to watch it with you guys. So let's go for it. Let's watch it. Are we on? Let me know if the video is on, okay? I want to make sure we can, we can get this done. Okay, you guys, let me know when we're on. Are we on with the video? You, you, 
You have no power tonight. You will not destroy anybody in this place. Every witchcraft. Those demons are coming out. Bring that one up here. Hallelujah. Praise God. It, I want you to put the vo video back on. Let's make sure we can, we can, um, uh, my mic is on. I want to make sure my mic is back on. Okay. Praise God. So I'm watching the same video you guys are watching. Hallelujah. So praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I hope praise you all can God. see it. Okay. That's good. So, but praise God. Now, let me talk to you about hearing the voice of God. I hope that you understood the power of God. There were so many people that were demon-possessed that were set free that night. And I want you to understand that um, it, it is wonderful when you see the power of God, the hand of God at work. You know it is God at work in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So I want you to understand that when you see things like that, you don't panic. You just know we have power over demons. And uh, I, I was really enjoying myself, actually, uh, because I, I could see the demons where we're all asking why different, de different demons that possess different people. We're, we're asking why, why, why. But praise God, praise God. Let's make sure we can have that um, done properly. Um, I see. Are we repeating the video again, guys? It's playing back again here. I don't know why. Okay, but praise God. We want to make sure we we have this straight. Um, but praise God. Is everything going all right? I want to make sure we are setting up. I told you we are setting up a new system. But I want to teach you today. If you get ready, yeah. If you get ready, we uh, everything is going to. Uh, we making sure everything is fine now. Now pay attention to this. This is very important. Hearing the voice of God. His voice makes a difference. I'm going to read a verse of scripture, um, uh, several verses of scripture, and this is talking about the Apostle Paul. It's talking about the Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. This is Paul speaking. 
It says this. It says in Acts chapter 22. Um, it's talking about uh, in verse 1. It says, men and brethren and fathers, hear my defense, which I make now unto you. This is Paul talking about his experience with the voice of God. Now, this is going to help you very much understand what I am talking about today. It will help you very, very much to understand. I see Jendeka, you're on here. I see um, Zoe, uh, God bless you. And Nisha, God bless you. I'm so glad you are, you're all here. Okay, now, I, I, I'm going to be sharing. This is very important. I want us to stay focused. I want us to get ac across the point that God speaks today. It's not about, I, I said to, I was talking yesterday to um, our daughter, and I said to her, I said, it's not about hearing, it's not about hearing preachers, it's hearing God when people speak. I'm not about who I listen to, it's about who I'm hearing. I want to hear God, I don't want to hear man speak. If I'm speaking to you, you should hear the voice of your father speaking to you. You should hear the voice of God speaking to you. It is very important. Hello, Sharon, bless you. You see, it is very important we hear the voice of God today. It is very, very, very important. Why, how important is this? This is Paul speaking about his conversion and what happened to him. He says in verse 2, And when they heard that he spoke in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept more silence, and he said to them, I am verily a man whom I am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the, father, of the fathers. In, in other words, Paul was saying to them, I had every pedigree you could think about. Uh, if it's about qualification, I was very qualified. I sat under the best teachers. I went to the Harvard and the MIT and the Yale of my day. In other words, he was saying to them, I am very well qualified because Gamaliel was my teacher. And taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers. And I was zealous towards God as you all are this day. In other words, it's telling them, the same zeal that you all have today, I had the same zeal. In other words, he is telling them, guys, you have to understand there is something that I have experienced that you are going through right now. You, were, you are in the place I used to be. He was saying, I knew the scriptures. I knew everything. I understood the law. I knew the ins and the outs of the law. But there's something missing. You can know all of those things and still miss the Christ. You can know the scriptures in and out. You can know a lot of things and still miss Jesus. You see, that is the key. Why have we not seen a lot of glorious manifestation of the lifestyle of Jesus? It's because people have heard and have re read books, but they've never met the man himself. So that's what I'm talking about today. I want to bring that to you. Hi, Kitty, how are you? And I see Mark is on a new dread is on god bless you laurie is on i'm talking about how to hear the voice his voice the voice of jesus makes the difference the voice of jesus really makes the difference in everything i do you have to understand that when the voice of jesus comes to you it removes every fear and every doubt and there's a boldness that comes on you but what what's so important about the voice of Jesus what is really that important about the voice of Jesus you have to understand that when you have clarity about the voice of Jesus if you can hear his voice you can never go wrong in life if you can hack into the voice of the Lord your God something amazing will happen to you and I want you guys to know that the voice of God makes the difference in your life hallelujah are you hearing me so let me put this across to you hear this paul is speaking he said i was a man taught on the gamaliel he said on verse 4 and i persecuted this way unto death i i persecuted the, the believers see religion has a way of making people so mad and crazy i persecuted the jews the way unto death 
binding and delivering into prisons both men and women. They were not just arresting men, they were arresting women and even arresting children too. That meant the women, when the men were arrested, the women preached. Thank God for women to preach the gospel. The devil is in trouble when the whole body of Christ, both male and female, come alive. Both young and old, come alive. We need to take the gospel to the world in ordinary people that have experienced the lifestyle of heaven. That's what I'm talking about right now understanding the dimension of what I'm talking about today. Now, listen to this. This is very important. God does not need professional preachers. He needs ordinary people that have believed in Him, have experienced Him, and they can go out. I always tell people, I'm not a preacher. I'm a king with a message. I say that all the time. I am not a professional preacher. I'm a person that has experienced the life of Jesus. I have come in contact with that life. And it has, that life has transformed me. And I hear His voice. And I see Him. And I know Him. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about today. What happens? The voice of Jesus makes the difference. Now, this is Paul speaking. He said, I persecuted the way, binding and delivering them in prisons, both men and women. Verse 5 says, And as also the high priest does bear me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I receive letters unto the brethren. In other words, he's saying, Look at all the people that are here. You know me. I was one of you. Why would I change? What is the reason for my change? In other words, he's telling them, there is something that happened to me, that if it happens to you, the same thing will happen. You will be changed also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The voice of Jesus. My point is, not, don't listen to Charles and Defon. Listen to Jesus speaking through Charles. You can tell the voice of Jesus when it comes. It's never critical. It's always building. It's always uplifting. It imparts faith to the hearers. It makes you feel you can do it too. It never, di it never di you know, diminishes you. It always esteems you. That's how I can tell it is the voice of my Father. I'll be reading a few scriptures with you, but maybe we can do this as a two-part today and tomorrow to understand how to hear the voice of Jesus. How to hear the voice of Jesus. His voice makes the difference. His voice is the key, is the key that turns situations around. His voice really makes a difference. When I need to know where to find Him, when I need to know, I know where to find Jesus. When I pray in the Spirit, His Spirit hovers near me. The song says, it says, Oh, His voice gently gives me direction. His voice gives me direction. And I follow that voice that I hear. I love that song. I love, I've been listening to it all night. And the Holy Spirit was ministering to me yesterday. I said, tell them to hear the voice of Jesus. So I'm going to be sharing with you how people would change hearing the voice of Jesus. What is so important about this? You understand in a short time. Stay with me. Just hang in there. You'll understand what will happen to you today when you begin to hear the voice of Jesus. I am not talking about reading scriptures. I'm not talking about reading Bibles. I'm talking about hearing the voice behind the book. Hearing the voice of Jesus, and I'll show you how important this is, and it will change your life today. Hear what the Bible says. In verse 5, here is Paul speaking. I see Sarah is on. Bless you. Here is Paul speaking. He says, I went to, he says, I received letters unto the brethren, and I went to Damascus to bring them which were there, which were there bound unto Jerusalem for to be punished. He said, I went to get the Christians and bring them bound to Jerusalem so that they could be punished. And it came to pass that as I made my journey, and I was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly, oh, I love the suddenness of God. You've heard people talk about that. But suddenly, there shone from heaven a great light round about me. Wow, wow, wow. Let me tell you my experience. When I gave my heart to Jesus, 
when I got on my knees, I remembered kneeling in my nephew's uh, room and I was so hungry for Jesus. And I experienced a touch of heaven. It seems like everything lit up in my life. It, first of all, I thought things were going to be noisy. It was peace. It was just a brightness. It seemed everything changed that moment. It seems there was a light that filled that room. I remember that. It's, I could not explain. I cannot describe. There was just a brightness of that light that came in that room where I was, where I met Jesus. I prayed a simple prayer. I said, Jesus, if you're real, make your, yourself real to me. I don't want religion. I want you. And there was a brightness of the light. You know, when that happened to me, there was not a loud noise or anything. All I saw was a brightness. I thought I was going to hear some banging. Some No, it was peace that passes all understanding. The next day, I never knew the sun was so beautiful. I never heard the birds sing so beautifully. One encounter with Jesus will change you forever. I know that voice. I know that voice. And of course, later on, you, heard, you know about the story how Jesus appeared to me face to face the first time. Face to face. And he spoke to me. I know that voice. I know that voice. Hallelujah. That voice of Jesus, when it comes to you, comes even through a human vessel. You hear him speak through a man, a, a woman, and it comes to you and heals you. It brings life to you and it changes you forever. That's what I'm talking about today. That's what I'm talking about. Something happening to you so rich that words cannot describe when Jesus comes to you. When Jesus comes to you. Hallelujah. You see, when the voice speaks, he, re he relieves all your troubles. He relieves all your, your pain. He relieves, he changes you in a second. And that's what I want to talk to you, how you can encounter that voice. Now, hear what happened to Paul. Paul was speaking, he says, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. And I fell on the ground and I heard a voice saying unto me, oh my goodness. He was not reading books. He already read the books. He already read from Gamaliel. He's read from all the people that were the professional preachers. He's heard all those things. He was taught by the best, but he needed to hear the voice. Oh, my dear friends, if you can hear his voice today, something is going to happen to you. It's not about reading scriptures. It's about hearing the voice. Why is it important for you to hear the voice of Jesus? Because the voice signifies the presence of the person. It signifies, it carries the voice carries the tonality, the heart of the person. The voice is different from words. I could read the Bible and read it flat. I could read it with a different kind of emotion as if God is angry. Or I can read the same words with love. But when I speak it with love, you feel the emotion of the speaker. You feel the power of the speaker. You feel the, the expression, the fullness of that word when there is a voice attached to it when there is a voice attached to it when you hear the voice there's a difference between reading the bible does not say faith comes by reading it said it comes by hearing so when you're reading here go beyond just reading scriptures hear his voice speaking to you when you hear his voice something happens on the inside of you it that voice of Jesus when it comes to you it, it it's so clear it's so freeing it changes you it's not religion it's not reading 10,000 books it's experiencing love like you've never experienced before the voice of Jesus when it comes to you something amazing begins to take place your life begins all of your 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 pain all of your things that have kept you bound begins to unravel and freedom comes to you. That's what I'm talking about. Understanding the voice of Jesus today. The voice of Jesus today. Hallelujah. You see, it is more than just reading scriptures. A lot of people have read the Bible cover to cover. But my question is, have you heard his voice? Paul is saying, and I heard a voice. I heard a voice saying unto me, I heard a voice. I, I saw the light. I experienced the light. But there was something more important. 
I heard his voice. The voice makes it personal. When you hear the voice of Jesus, it means his personality is in that moment. His presence has come in. There is something, there's life that comes when you hear the voice of a person. When you hear your parents' voice, you can tell what their parents mean. Sometimes they just call your name and you know exactly that that's the voice of my mother. That's the voice of my father. You can tell because there is a way that, that, that they sound that is different from others. The voice of Jesus makes a difference today. The voice of Jesus, when that voice comes to you, today as you're listening to me, don't listen to Charles and Ethan. Hear the voice of Jesus speaking to you, telling you how precious you are, how amazing, how fearfully and wonderfully you were made by him. Listen to that voice telling you how much he esteems you and values you and believes in you that you will walk in victory again, that you will walk in victory today. Believe in that friendly voice. Hallelujah. When I hear that voice, that voice changes everything I do. It changes everything I do. It preserves me. It protects me. We'll talk about that later on. But what is so important about hearing the voice? It says, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Why do you persecute me? Hear this. He said, who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. There are so many voices today. There are amazing preachers in the world today. There are many mighty men of God today. But friends, I want to tell you something very personal. Go beyond the facade. Go beyond what people have done. Listen for the voice of Jesus. Jesus said to Paul, I am Jesus of Nazareth. I am Jesus of Nazareth. I am Jesus. I am Jesus. When he heard the voice, behind the voice was the man that came to him. I said to you yesterday, don't read the scriptures. See the man behind the words. See, hear his voice. And when you hear his voice, all fear and all doubt leaves you. Oh, there's something about the voice of Jesus. It says, I am Jesus. I am Jesus of Nazareth. I am Jesus. We need to hear him again. We need to hear him say to us in 2018, I am Jesus of Nazareth. I don't want to hear about what great preachers, I want to hear Jesus. I am Jesus of Nazareth. We need to hear preachers bring Jesus to the people and let them hear the voice of Jesus again. Let them hear Jesus. I am Jesus. I am Jesus of Nazareth. We need to hear Jesus again. Here is Jesus talking to Paul. He said, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou art persecuted. And they that were with me so ended the line and were afraid, but they did not hear the voice and of him that spoke unto me. They did not hear the voice. They saw the light. They saw the light that was brighter, the glory that was brighter than the noonday sun. Hallelujah. Something happened. You see, the, the experience we have, you can experience everything the Bible says. You can actually experience that today. As I'm speaking to you right now, let that same experience happen to you. May you begin to experience the fullness, the full capacity of that love, the full capacity of that lifestyle. May you experience what it means to hear the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 This is what I'm talking about, the glory of his presence of his voice when the, bo the Bible says the voice of the Lord shall be heard in the power of his word. I'm telling you when you understand what it is to hear the voice of Jesus say to you I am Jesus. I am Jesus. I like that. I am Jesus. They heard the, 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 the saw the light and were afraid but they did not hear the voice that spoke to me. And I said what shall I do Lord? When Jesus speaks to you, you can tell it is Jesus. You can tell he is Jesus. Hear this. And the Lord said to me, arise and go into Damascus. In other words, he says, stand up 
I esteem you. I believe in you. I love you. He said, it is Jesus whom they persecuted. And he said, stand up. Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. What do you want me to do? I believe in you. I know you made mistakes, but when you hear the voice of Jesus, he doesn't ask you about the mistakes. He cancels all of it and stems on all of your debt paid in full. That's what I'm talking about. Experiencing his presence today. As you hear me, don't listen to Charles and Ethan. Hear Jesus of Nazareth telling you, I want to speak to you. Let me go down and read to the point I'm coming to right now. And the Bible says, he says, Arise and go into Damascus. And there is able to told thee of all the things which are appointed for you to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. He remember he went there to persecute the Christians, but then he had an encounter with Jesus. Oh, do we need a supernatural encounter today? Do we need, do you know you can experience Jesus every day like this? You can encounter him every day. You don't have to be a person that encounters Jesus once and it's over. Oh boy, I have encounters with him. Sometimes when I'm driving my car, as I'm driving, all of a sudden he feels the car with his presence. I just begin to weep and he tells me amazing things. He tells me, he shows me, he tells me I am his. Oh my goodness, I love the voice of Jesus. I love the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. When the voice of Jesus comes to you, it changes everything. It changes. That voice makes the difference. Some people say, that I, I want to go to the mountain and hear Jesus. No, I stay where I am. I drive my car. I'm in the grocery store and I can hear him clearly, as clear as a whistle. I can hear him. Do you know, he, you don't have to go to the mountain. You don't have to go there. He, he will speak to you today as you're listening to me. May his voice become clear to you in your heart, in your spirit, and bring life to you today. That's what I'm talking about. If you wonder why I'm so passionate, because I know that he wants you to hear his voice. In a short time, I'll come to the point that I am going to make for you today. God wants you to hear his voice. Whether you are out shopping, you can hear the voice of Jesus talk to you. Let's not make it a ritual. Let's not make it so once in a while occurrence. Do you know you were designed to hear him? You were designed to hear the voice of your daddy. You were designed for that. You were designed for good works to hear him every day. Did you know that? You were designed. My part is to bring you to that place where you hear his voice. The Bible talked about Samuel. When he was, after he was born, he was serving Eli the high priest. The chief priest. And what happened? Eli's two sons were kind of a little wayward, wayward young men. And uh, they, they just, Hophin and Phineas, I believe that's their name. And the, they, were not, they were not following the footsteps of the father. But here was Samuel dedicated to the Lord. And then something happened. So while he was sleeping, he heard a voice that called on him. And he thought he heard Eli calling on him. And he went over and said, Master, did you call? He said, no, I didn't call you. He went back again. And then the second time, he heard the voice of Jesus. He heard the voice of God calling unto him. And he came again. He said, Master, did you ask? And the Master, did you call? And, and Eli said, I didn't call you. Because he was trained to hear Eli. Do you know sometimes God sounds like my spiritual father? Sometimes he speaks to me like T.L. Osborne. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. When I'm ministering sometimes, I hear God speak to me sounding like T.L. Osborne. I know some people have said, whenever I'm ministering, I hear God speak to me like you. I can hear your voice because I hear Jesus in your voice. I love that. Isn't that wonderful that God can sound like us? Hallelujah. His voice makes the whole difference in our lives. His voice makes a whole difference in our lives. Hallelujah. Do you know you can hear his voice? You are actually hearing his voice. And what happened to Samuel? 
the Bible says. And then someone said, it's the Lord himself getting to talk to you. Religious people train people to hear man, but true heaven sent people train you to hear God. That's the mission we have. Every day we want you to hear God. And I believe God speaks through men and women. God will speak through your prophet. He will speak through your pastor. He will speak through your brothers and sisters. But God wants you to hear the, the voice of his mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will speak through, through, through his word. But hear his voice. That's my point that I'm trying to get across to you. Hallelujah. Hello, Cynthia. I miss all of you. I'm glad that you joined me today because today is a glorious day for something amazing to happen to you. You can hear the voice of God. You know what? Should I just teach this all week? I think it's a pretty good topic. I have so much to share with you concerning this topic, the voice of God coming to you today. God is speaking to you. Let's not listen to words. Let's not listen to, to uh, uh, preachers. Let's listen through preachers and hear the voice of Jesus. That's most important. We need to hear the voice of Jesus. We need to hear the voice of Jesus today. So why am I saying this to you? Because his voice makes the difference. His voice makes the difference. We can hear ministers. We, I hear people sometimes say, oh, I listen to this. And they ask me, who do you listen to? I say, I listen to the voice of Jesus. When I listen to T.L. Osborne, I want to hear Jesus speak through T.L. Osborne. That was what drew me to that man of God. I heard Jesus speaking through him to me. And I said, my God, I, do you know T.L. Osborne preached? First time I encountered, he preached 15 minutes. I went home and cried the whole day. Other preachers can preach better than him. But I heard Jesus. I heard the voice of Jesus when that man spoke. I heard Jesus. I heard love in those voices. I heard, I heard kindness. I, I heard, so his message was so simple that day. I, they are better preachers than him. But I don't want to hear better preachers. I want to hear Jesus. I want to hear the voice of Jesus. I want Jesus to speak to me today. I want to hear Jesus speak through a man, a woman of God. Hallelujah. Jesus speaks through people today. I heard Jesus and it changed my world. I remembered he was saying that God sent me to the United States, uh, to Africa, to show you the gospel work. And in that same moment, right in Benin City, with uh, Ben Sinidahosa, the late Archbishop Ben Sinidahosa, I was sitting in the audience and I heard my father say that, Dr. T. Osman, he said, God has sent me to come here and show you that the gospel works. And I heard 10,000 voices say to me, go to America. I heard God speak to me very clearly, go to America and show them the gospel works too. And I said, Lord, me, I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little teenager. What do I know? He said, I said, Lord, America has all the great preachers. I said, that's where they come and teach us in Africa. The Lord said to me, go. I was making every excuse in the book because I thought I did not qualify. The great preachers come from America. The Lord said, go to America and show them the gospel works. Not teach them, not talk to them, show them the gospel works. And I made excuses. Oh Lord, I, I, I don't qualify. I, I cannot speak. I'm just a little, a little lad. And he said, they have not seen a preacher like you. Wow. His voice made the difference. If I hadn't listened to that voice, I would not have been to 87 countries. I would not have been where, hallelujah, where, where I am today. His voice made the difference. And when I heard the voice, go to America, I started getting all my things ready to come to the United States. Some people thought I was crazy. You're leaving engineering, you're leaving this, you, and I know how people always talk. Well, no, you're the engineer. But something happened to me when he spoke to me. And when I came to the United States, because back in Nigeria, miracles happened. I remembered at the University of Nigeria in Suka. I was there with all the brethren of abiding word gathering ministry i used to go to the hospitals the shanahan hospital there that was in ansuka and miracles would happen 
People were getting healed in the hospital. I, I remember my first pastor there told me, he said, I remember those days. You would go to the hospital and miracles would happen. Pastor Tim, I love you. And he, he, he thanked God for men and women of God that put some of those things in us. But when I heard T.L. Osmond, I heard Jesus speaking through a man. I heard Jesus speaking through a man. And since then, I have traveled all over the world, in every continent in the world, and I've seen the wonders of heaven. We've seen over 10 million miracles happen. I'm not talking about salvation. We've seen tens of millions of salvation, but we've seen over 10 million miracles happen with our own very eyes. Amazing. Amazing. Because... His voice made the difference. His voice made the difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for those of you, you need to come to the power school. I want to invite all of you, if you used to be in a power school and you have not come in a while, you better come to this power school. Here is God speaking to you through me now. You need to register for the power school today. Because this power school, it's going to be the most phenomenal power school we've ever had. I can tell you that. The Lord has been speaking to me about this power, power school coming. It is going to be absolutely extraordinary. You cannot miss it. And we said, I said to you yesterday, those that register the next couple of days, you, we have a special gift for you just to, you know, just the first hundred people that register. A lot of people have been registering already. This is filling up very, very fast. You will receive incredible thank you gift for being obedient to do it. We just want to bless you. And for those also that will sow a seed of over $100 to this ministry, guess what will happen? We're sending you the 366 healing scriptures. We are getting it ready. It's, we are making sure it's done very well so that we can send it to you and you can be reading a scripture a day that keeps you healthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to register. And Rhonda, you are coming to Power School again. I love you. She was one of the hostess of the Power School. We're looking forward to having you all come. Hallelujah. Now, hear this. His voice makes a difference. His voice makes a difference. So, I'll be teaching you all of this week, hearing the voice of Jesus, so that when you hear this voice, you will be changed by it. So, what happened to me in Nigeria? I came to the United States, and I thought... Everybody would know that I am the Son of God coming from Nigeria. Do you know when I came, the first thing that happened to me? I arrived at JFK Airport. And I, I, I because I believe that America was such a beautiful country. It's God's country. I thank God for this nation. I've lived here most of my life now. I've lived in the United States more than I've lived in any other part of the world. This is, this is home for me now. But hear this. When I arrived as a, a young lad from, from Nigeria, I kept my bag and my bag was stolen at the airport. And you would have panicked because everything you have was in the bag. But then I heard his voice. His voice said to me, I called you here. Because I had my Bible and what I was wearing. I said, Lord, you sent me to this nation. I know you would keep your word to me. And I heard his voice say to me, I never fail. I never fail. You are my son. I have everything you need for the journey. And I said, wow. And then I got a, I got a vehicle, looked for a way to get to Clarion University in Pennsylvania. I came there to work the, co uh, the, the cage basketball camp with my, with my coach, Dr. Ron Ryder. He was one of the assistant U.S. Olympic basketball coach back in 1988. And uh, he invited me to come to the United States to come and play basketball and when I came and when I arrived on campus he was so excited he took care of me and do you know two days after I arrived some people that never met me before came to the university and said to, you know said they said they're looking for this young man that just arrived from Africa remember I lost all the things I had I only had my Bible, and I had the clothing of my body. My coach just basically gave me some basketball outfits, you know, and things that I could just be practicing and uh, teaching in the, in, the, in the camp. Guess what happened? When that happened, these people came. They said that they have a gift for a young man that just arrived from Africa. 
And they said, who is that? And uh, my coach said, oh, of course, that's Charles. He just came. And, of course, my coach knew I'd lost all my luggage because he was asking me, where are your bags? I said it was stolen at J John Kennedy a Airport in, in New York City. And these people, God spoke to them, and they gave me two bags full of brand new clothing because his voice made a difference. He took care of me two days after I came here. You know what I said to myself? I said, why did I even bother bringing clothing to the United States when God already had the resources for me here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I tell you, it is amazing because God has made provision for wherever he's sending you to. Wherever God has sent you to, there is provision for you. Don't worry about what you're going to take over there. Don't worry what you're going to take over there. The Bible says, because you are worth of being sent. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody today. His voice, you're hearing his voice. He has told you to do something, and you're wondering, oh, listen, here, the Bible says, let me read some scriptures that will help you today. The Bible says, on the day that you, hack it, that you, you, you hear his voice, he says, do not harden your heart. Do not harden your heart. This is what the Bible says here. Hallelujah. I want to share with you a few scriptures that will help turn things around for you. Hallelujah. The Bible declares. It says. Let me go. Let me show you. I have so many things I'll be sharing with you this week. How the voice came to Moses. You will learn some amazing new things about how the voice of God comes to you and how it will change you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 3 verse 15. It said, while as I said, today, if you will hear his voice, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. As is in the day of provocation. Hebrews 4 verse 7. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. The day you hear his voice, let your heart be soft and listen to him. And that will change your world. Do you know, because I listened to his voice back in Africa, and he said, go. I left everything. What will happen? What will make a man, a young man, a young man, leave everything, leave a career in engineering, leave everything, and come to a foreign land with nobody there? And come, and later on, he's been He's, been, he's met presidents of countries around the world. I've met people on the streets. I've been to over 87 countries. When I say over, that includes territories that we've been to that are part of some other countries. But it's amazing. We have been to those places and we have seen the wonders of heaven. And I keep saying to people, thank God I started young, but I wish I had started before I was 10 years old. Maybe I would have gained some more countries uh, uh, under my belt. But guess what? It's never too late. We have more nations to go to. And I know that God has something for you too. You can experience some amazing things with God. Hallelujah. The day you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Do Hebrews 3, uh, 3 verse 15, verse 15, when you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. God is speaking today. He wants to speak to you. He wants to bless you. He wants to give you something new that you can be changed by it. You can be changed by it. His voice makes a difference. And so what happened to me? I've experienced all of the wonderful things that God has said in His Word. It is amazing when you know that God cannot fail. When you know that He will, he will keep His promises to you. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 56. They has not failed. One word of all the precious promises God has made to His servant. Hallelujah. See, one word of His promises has not failed. Hearing the voice of God. Why is the voice of God so important? I'm not talking about reading the word of God. I'm talking about hearing His voice. Hearing His voice. It is very important. This is what Paul said. Hallelujah. <laughs> I know this is for somebody today. God has made the provision that you need. God has everything you need. Is it a husband or wife? Is it a provision you need for the journey? Do you know God has already factored all those things? Do you know that? 
the, you know, God has already made the provision that you need to succeed today. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. This is what Paul said. And when Ananias, uh, Ananias verse 12, a devout man according to the law, having a good report, Acts chapter 22, verse 12, and, and those that dwelt in, in, uh, with the Jews, he came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, verse 13, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him. He could see. I love the miracles. Yesterday we showed you some miracles. We're going to be showing you some more miracles. And I tell you, it is going to be glorious. Every day we want to show you some miracle clip to inspire you to know that the voice of Jesus makes a difference. This is what the Bible says. And I looked up upon him. Verse 14. This is where I am coming to now. It says this. And he said, the God of our fathers has chosen you. Hallelujah. Today, I'm going to use that about what happens when you hear the voice of God. You will understand, number one, you are his choice. When you hear the voice of God, number one, you are his choice. Do you know tomorrow I will talk about the voice that walks? <laughs> you get ready tomorrow. I will talk about the voice, the simplicity of the message, the voice that walks with you. You see, the presence of that voice. The Bible says in Revelations, he said, And I heard the voice from behind me, and I turned to see the voice. How can you see voices? You are supposed to hear it. But listen, he says, And I turned to see the voice. Oh my, that's for tomorrow. I'm going ahead of my time, of, of myself. But get ready. You can see the voice of God. Hallelujah. You can see. That's for tomorrow. Get ready. It's going to be glorious. This week, I'm just going to stay on this topic and let's marinate. But you've got to register for the power school. I want to make sure they can put the banner up. You need to register for the power school. I said, you need to be at the power school of miracles. That, if you really want to come, God will make a way for you. If you need a visa, God will make a way for you. If you need a ticket, God will make a way for you. If you have a desire to be at the power school, just register and see what God will do. You will shift things into place. Faith will become explosive. You begin to operate in a different dimension of life. Hallelujah. That's what I like. People that step in there and are audacious about their faith. They said, I'm coming to power school. I don't care what, what experience I've had before. I want a different dimension of living hallelujah it's one thing to come and hear uh, uh, it's one thing to come and hear a uh, 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 preacher speak but it's another thing to be changed that's the key that's the purpose of the power school of miracles it's about your transformation not my good preaching it's about you being changed to what you're hearing if you're not changed if all you do is be amazed and said oh the great charles and Ethan is preaching Oh, I just want to hear the great... That's not why the power school is there. It's not to hear a great preacher. It's to hear the voice of Jesus speaking to you and, and getting you out to make an impact, a great impact. Even though you're making an impact now, it's not to become a, a spectator of the divine nature. Because, you know, a lot of Christians today, they come, they think the kingdom is by observation. The Bible says the kingdom does not come by observation. You don't sit back and watch. What is your place in the participation? It comes by participation. You don't sit back. That's the purpose of power school, to bring you to the place where you're no longer sitting back. You are out there doing and ministering love that heals people. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. Hearing the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you listen, something will happen to you all through this week. I know if you want, I want you to give me a thumbs up if you want me to stay on this topic about hearing the voice of God. His voice makes the difference. His voice makes the difference. When you hear the voice of Jesus, something amazing begins to take place. Something amazing begins to, to take place. Hallelujah. See, he speaks to me every day. Can you understand that? It's not that Jesus speaks to me like uh, um, somebody said hey, at 1 o'clock. You know, it's nice. People would tell me at 1 o'clock on uh, July the 28th, um, 
1996, Jesus spoke to me. And I keep saying to them, well, that's nice you quote those dates. He speaks to me every day. I don't know what is, is there something wrong with me? Uh, I don't know. He talks to me every day. I don't wait for a special day. He talks to me. Oh boy, don't you get it? He talks to me every day. So I cannot write and say, on this day, he spoke to me. No, it is a daily experience. Maybe I'm different. <laughs> I don't understand. You see, maybe I'm different. He talks to me every day. Then he walks with me. And he talks with me. He tells me I am his own. That's what I'm talking about. Every day. Every day. I walk with him. Every day. He talk Do you know it's easier for him to talk to me, for me to hear him, than for me to hear people? Oh, the grace of God. It's so amazing. You can have that too. You really can have. You can hear the voice of his mouth. Here is Paul speaking. Let me give you some points for today and then we can wrap it up. Hear this now. Hear this now. Paul saying, he said, and he said, the God of our Father has chosen thee, number one, that you should know his will. Number two, you, number one, you are his choice. Number two, you are chosen to know his will. When you hear his voice, you will know his will. You don't doubt about what the will of God is. When I come to you, I have no doubt of God's will for you. I have no doubt about it. I don't come hoping that something will happen. No, I expect something amazing to happen. One encounter with Jesus makes the whole world of difference. Are you hearing me? That's what I'm talking about. Something fresh. Not just hearing. I, I say to you, it's not about hearing this preacher. Some people say, oh, I'm tired of hearing this preacher. And I said, oh boy, you see, I, I see your problem. You're listening to man. You can never get tired of hearing Jesus speak through a man. You can never get tired when the man talks like Jesus and Jesus speaks through a man. You will always hear the voice of Jesus. And you will hear that voice, not because the man spoke, but you hear that voice in your spirit. Because the deep calleth unto the deep. Because the deep calleth unto the deep. There is something on the inside of you that is seeking to hear the voice of God. And when you hear the voice of God, something happens to you. Boy, we have a great week. I am so full of this today. Hallelujah. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. You need to come. <laughs> Marcus says, power school my mind. Don't have it in your mind. Register. Go online. PSOM.org. Register online. And you will. Hallelujah. Be out of power school. Just decide, I'm going to go for it. And when you do that, something amazing is going to take place. I'm telling you, I don't know why the Lord is impressing upon me about this power school. We need to make a whole th totally different thing about this. We need to be in a place where we are doing what God has called us to do. You cannot be waiting another year. You cannot be waiting another month. You do it now. That's the key. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear this. <laughs> <laughs> hear this it is amazing what i'm experiencing today the bible says he has that you should know his will number three and that you shall see the just one if you can hear his voice you know number one you're his choice number two you know his will number three if you can hear the voice you will see him hallelujah you will see him when you hear his voice you will see the just one number four and you should hear the voice of his mouth not just the voice Oh, come on, let me give a personal intake on this. To hear the voice of his mouth means you are in his presence. You're not listening to CD, you're hearing the voice of his mouth. You're hearing the voice of his mouth. You're not, you're not hearing MP3, you're hearing the voice of his mouth. God has chosen you to know his will, to see him. Number four, to hear the voice of his mouth. You are called to hear the voice of his mouth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are called to hear the voice of his mouth. Hear this. Number five, for you shall be his witness. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I can't take this anymore. He's, I just want to run around the studio. Listen to me. There is something that is happening. You are called, the Bible says. <laughs> hear this. Hear this, you shall be a producer of
proof, a witness. You have evidence to produce the proof of the unseen God, the invisible God made visible when you get there. Isn't that amazing? You. I'm not talking about the great child. I'm saying you coming to the place where you are experiencing the wonders of heaven today. Wow. Think about that. You are called to do amazing things with God. Oh, thank God for Taylor Osborne who taught me that I could do those things. You know, I'm not one of those people that will tell you, listen, I'm the one called to do it. No, I'm telling you, you are called by God to do something amazing. That's why you come and we're going to train you and we're going to build an army of world changers. People that go out there and get amazing results. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. You are called to hear the voice of his mouth and to become a witness unto all people of what you have seen oh boy i can't take this anymore of all that you have seen hallelujah and heard you will see things you will hear things you will hear his voice and he will take you and you will see and hear what heaven wants to do on earth and you can say let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven isn't that amazing Oh boy, oh boy, I am overflowing with love for you people today. Do you know God has called you to hear the voice of his mouth, to see the Holy One, to know his will? You were chosen by God for this. You are his choice. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 10, you are his workmanship. You were created to hear his voice, to do good works. You were designed for something amazing. You were designed for something amazing. You were called to be a witness. A witness, hallelujah. Number five, you are a witness. You are called to hear the voice of his mouth. You hear the voice of his mouth. And to become a witness unto all people of the things you've seen and heard. You are called to anyone that comes in contact with you would experience heaven on earth. Can you imagine that you, hallelujah, I'm talking to you today. I hope this is helping you today. Something amazing. Those of you in Canada, come in a convoy and come to Power School. I love my Canadian people. You people are wonderful. My Canadian family, you, I, all of you in Montreal, you need to come to Power School. Register ahead of time. It is going to be glorious. No more religious nonsense. Just come and let the Word of God wash you clean. Let the word of life, let love just wash you clean. You need to come into a bathtub of love. And you can come in here. That's what power school is about. It's an experience where you come in and you just marinate. That's the whole idea. You come in there and just marinate in the presence of God. Isn't that amazing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Heavenly. I love it. <laughs> you need to be here. I love this. <laughs> I love you, my precious family. I love you, my precious family. It's wonderful. It's wonderful what God is doing. Now, let me conclude this. The Bible says, it says, and now, why do you tarry? Why are you waiting? In other words, the wait is over. When you hear the voice of his mouth, you don't wait. You get up and get results. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing you can get results? Oh boy, tomorrow you cannot miss it. Tomorrow we're going to get started early because we have a lot of things to do. We have a lot of things to do and uh, we are going to be experiencing a different dimension of operation and it's going to be glorious tomorrow i hope this is helping you and for those of you <laughs> josephine love you with those of you that i want to encourage you everybody you need if go to our website christlove.org become a partner with us for those that are so uh, so a seed of a thousand dollars five hundred dollars a hundred whatever anything over a hundred we want to give you our new gift coming out it's called 366 healing scriptures a scripture for a day and guess what i have a little little comments i made on each of those scriptures to help you get the most out of it hallelujah you you need to get in there and get some amazing things going hallelujah i know we have we have gone beyond the time that we wanted to do today we have oh, six minutes over but i pray that you enjoyed it today it is another great day with jesus hear the voice of jesus today coming to you hallelujah whatever miracle you need today receive that miracle god's love is reaching out to you today You've heard the voice of God is coming to you in, in power and in love. That voice, that voice, the voice of Jesus, hear it. He's saying to you, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. 
In other words, I value you. He says, stand up. I need you to work for me. Hallelujah. He said, stand up. I need you to go for me and do wonderful things. And I want to encourage you today. We'll be learning a lot of things, how the voice came to people. Hallelujah. You hear how the voice of God came to people. It's not just reading words anymore. It's about hearing the, the, the voice of his mouth. Let's get down to the place where we actually experience Jesus personally. Again, this is Dr. Charles Nathan. I love you. I, just please let me know. We're going to do Q&A on Thursday. I need your questions today and tomorrow. We want to be always ahead of the schedule. We want to make sure we can get things done and get back into a good routine. It's very important we do that so that we can get into a very good routine and that way there'll be consistency in what we do. But if I get your, your, if I get your, uh, your questions later on, it takes me a, a little longer just to organize my thoughts and say, okay, I'm going to answer a couple of this. Uh, that's fine. But send your questions ahead of time. And please write to me, inbox me, tell me how this message today has helped and blessed you, how it has helped you come into a new experience. I want to say, I love you. Hallelujah. I am going to see you again tomorrow. Go check out the Power School page, register, and I know it is going to be glorious. Tomorrow, we're going to be starting at about 9.45. 9.45, we're going to kick it up. At least our systems are working a lot better now. We are arranging some things, making sure everything is in the right place. 9.45 tomorrow. We are actually starting at 9.45. We keep that going. And uh, the rest of the week, we expect to do that. And the Q&A is on Thursday. Get ready. And so as many things as we are planning, we want to make sure we can accomplish them. Again, I want to say I love you so much. And I, 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 it's my joy that you come in. When you come in to listen to me, I, I just want to pour out everything God has given me for you so that you can go and make the world a more beautiful place to live in. Okay? Again, this is Dr. Charlton Different, and I will see you tomorrow. Inbox me. Tell me how this has been a blessing to you. Share with others. Let's make sure the world can hear this good news today. Again, I love you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.